to music. Good morning. Welcome to the get together with me, Teacher Monica. When I'm at my house and you're at your house and we get together and jump into music. Welcome everybody. Good morning. You know what? Today is a very special day. Today we are celebrating Halloween. October 31st is Halloween night. Oh my goodness. I wonder what I should be for Halloween. I'm really not sure. Maybe you can help me decide. Yeah, what are you going to be for Halloween? I bet you maybe you've already decided. Or maybe you have a tickle trunk like me. Big box full of costumes. And you can go in there and see what you have and try some things on. Yeah. I wonder what you were last year. Hmm. Well, we're going to figure that out. And you know what? Before we do that, let's say hi to everybody. Let's get a little ra rhythm going on our lap. Here we go. Good day, how are you? Good to see you, good to see you. Good day, how are you? Good to see you, I know you. Whoa, yay! Good day, how are you, dear? Is that Teddy? Teddy? What is Teddy? Teddy's already dressed up. Teddy, what are you? Honk. Oh! Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Honk! Oh my! Wow, Teddy has a very red nose. Good morning, Teddy. And what a fancy hairdo! Teddy must have been at the salon getting all those colors put in. Wow! I think I want to touch his nose again. Yeah. Honk! Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna do it again. Honk, 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 honk. Oh! <laughs> what? Does your nose make that sound too? Honk. I, I didn't know my nose made that sound. Honk. Oh! <laughs> wow. Oh, we have more people to say hi to, don't we? Yes. Good day. How are you, dear bear family? Oh, look. Panda. Grandma Panda has a fancy mask on. Wow, you look really good. Oh, and Super Spider-Man. Super Spider-Man, what are you dressed up as? Oh, he doesn't have to get dressed up. Spider-Man's already in his costume and he's got his awesome rock and roll guitar, don't you? <laughs> Spider-Man is ready for Halloween, aren't you? You, you definitely are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Spider-Man to... Oh, and how about the sleepy polar bears? Oh, and the little birds. <whistles> oh, well, good morning to you too, little birds. <whistles> oh, they want to know what I'm going to be for Halloween. <gasps> I wonder what I'm going to be for Halloween. It's a pretty big question. <laughs> Maybe you can help me decide. Now, I wonder what are you going to be for Halloween? And I saw a few comments here already. Let's check this out. <gasps> Krisha is going to be a caterpillar. Wow. You know what happens if you're a caterpillar? You live in a cocoon. So you can get all bundled up in your blankets. And then after, when you're ready, you can come out. You Well, first you're a caterpillar, then you go into your blankets, and then you can come out <gasps> a beautiful butterfly. Wow. Yeah, caterpillar is just one of the stages. I love caterpillars. Hmm, let's see, who else is going to be dressed up? Oh, Sedona is going to be an octopus. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Octopus have a of legs. You know what? I have an octopus here. Oh, one second. I'm going to get my octopus. The eye. Oh, hey, oh, Mr. Octopus. Oh, wow. Let's see if I can get the octopus to move around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that octopus. Wow. Are you going to look like that? Wow, that's got a lot of legs. I wonder how many legs. Let's see the back side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, I love the octopus. Wow, good. Thanks for reminding me. I forgot I had octopus. You want to sit over here with Teddy Octopus? Here you go. <laughs> Very good. Oh, let's see what else. We have some more things. Oh, Johan is going to be a baby bat. A baby bat? Oh, you know what? I have a bat here too. Let's see if I have my bat here. Let's see. Come on, bat. Come on. Help you come. Oh, hello. Wow, you want to say hi to everybody? What's that? I can't hear him. Can you hear him? You can't hear him either. You know what? That's because bats sing so high, so, so, so high that we can't even hear them. Yeah, it's a really high pitch. We call it a high pitch. That means if you go way up, way higher than I can sing. Even higher than you can sing. That's right, Bat, isn't it? <laughs> wow, you're a very beautiful bat, aren't you? Yes, and you know, bats are very useful. They they go flying around at nighttime. I'm not even sure why you're up right now. Hmm? You should be sleeping, yes? Sleeping upside down, even. Yeah, bats like to sleep upside down. That's fun to do. Oh, you want to sit over here with us today? You do? Okay, very good. I'll put you over here. You have a special stand for our bat. There you go. He can stay right there. There you go. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, woo, Al, what other costumes do we have? Oh, Nayeli is going to be Cinderella. Oh, Cinderella goes to the ball, doesn't she? Yes, and she gets a glass slippers. And when she's running to her gigantic pumpkin carriage, what happens? Oh, she loses one of her glass slippers. Oh, I wonder if you're going to have some fancy slippers too. Oh, and a beautiful dress. Yes. Oh, I love Cinderella story. It's really good. Marcus is going as a ghostbuster. Oh, oh, you know, we have a song for that. You guys take a scarf. We say, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters. Boo! <laughs> Whoa. Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! Dun, 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 dun. Boo! You know, there is an awesome song about the Ghostbusters. And you know, it's in the playlist. It's in the Spotify playlist for Halloween. And you guys can listen to it later and maybe do a crazy dance to it. I love dancing to the Ghostbusters song. That's a great costume. I wonder what, how they do that. I think you have a nice big suit and a little package on the side. Let's see, what other kinds of costumes do we have? Well, maybe there'll be more coming later. You guys can tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. But the real question is, what am I going to be for Halloween? You know, I have so many choices. But I wanted to start our class. Oh, we better play our song. Yeah, do you guys have your instruments together? Oh, like your maracas, your homemade ones like I have here. You have some of those? Yeah? Or maybe a drum. Do I have any drums? Let's see. I have a drum here. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice sounding drum. I like that one. Oh, another one. So I have, oh, I have this one. Oh, that sounds almost the same. Well, that's surprising. Let's see what other kinds of drums do I have. Oh, I have a plastic container drum. Well, that sounds different. It has lots of sounds. Do you have one of these too? Yeah, you know, it could be round. This one is what shape? A rectangle, because it has a short side and a long side. Yeah, two of them. Two longs and two shorts. Yeah, that makes it a rectangle. Okay, very good. What other kind of drums do I have? Oh, I have this one. Whoa, this one. I can see you. Can you see me? <laughs> You can see right through this drum. That's called a doombeck. I really like that one. That's a nice drum. And, or maybe you even have a ukulele. You want to, guys want to play along with me? Let's do it. We'll sing and dance and smile today. Making friends along the way. We're growing together and having fun. At jump.
right. Good jamming, everybody. Well, did you notice that I made a change in my room? Yeah, I put up a special painting. Can you see that? Yeah, I changed the painting because this painting usually lives in my living room. And it's one of my very favorite paintings. And I call it the painting of the crooked house. Yeah, it has a crooked house in it, doesn't it? Yeah. And you know, it also has a big tree. And it has a chair, a crooked chair, in the middle of the yard. And the bed is outside. It's a very mysterious painting. Kind of like Halloween. Very mysterious. I just like staring at it. I can look at it and look at it and look at it and look at it. And I never, ever get tired of it. And sometimes I even see new things. Even after years and years and years, I didn't notice that there was a little house at the back. Amazing. Yeah, this was painted by a friend of mine's grandparent and I got to have it. Isn't it nice? Yeah, I really love it. Maybe you have some nice paintings at your house too. You know, paintings and art are so interesting for our brain. Look at them and imagine things and just get lost in it. Yeah, I really thought it would look nice in here for Halloween. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, this time of year is also the time of year when it starts to get a little cold outside, Brrr, a little bit chilly. Yes. And maybe you start wearing more sweaters and jackets and boots. Maybe not quite ready for mittens, but a little bit of a chill, maybe even a hat to keep your ears warm. Mm -hmm. And a lot of time, this people ha call this season, we call this season autumn. Can you see that? Autumn. And that means this time of year when it gets a little bit colder, right before, after summer and before winter. Mm -hmm. But there's another name for it. Sometimes we call it fall. Hmm. I wonder, I wonder why we call it fall. Well. I noticed something when I was outside that all the leaves on the trees had started to change color. They used to be green and now they're turning red and orange and yellow and then they're falling off the trees. I think that's why they call it fall. Yeah, I went outside just before we started here today and I found some nice leaves from my garden. Look at this one. Oh, it's so beautiful. It has so many colors in it, doesn't it? Red, orange, yellow, and still a little bit of green. How about this one? This is from the same tree, but it's fully red, isn't it? Oh, well, a little orange. Yeah, I love to discover the colors that we can have. And this also is from the same tree. And look, it's all curled up. Got all crinkly, didn't it? And it has just one spot that's still green and the rest went oh look there's two spots isn't that beautiful so all these three came from the same tree and they look so different hmm. amazing yeah and then i went to another tree this one is a japanese maple tree and look at this leaf isn't that beautiful it's very delicate these ones are all really delicate you have yellow it really dances around doesn't it yeah, and I have green. This one was still green. That's what they looked like in the summer, although it's starting to go. It's got some yellow on there. How about this one? That one still has a tiny bit of green, but it's mostly orange and brown now. Yeah, and this one went fully orange and red on a little bit of yellow at the back. Look at that. So these are all from one tree. These ones and these ones, let's see if I can hold them all up from the other tree, two trees in my yard. And then, you know what? The wind blew and they went and they fell off the tree. Wow. You know, I know a really great song that's about fall. You guys want to jam along and get your instruments? It goes like this. See the leaves fall from the trees, see them falling down. See the leaves fall from the trees, see them spinning round. See the leaves fall from the trees, see them turning brown. Can you be a leaf with me and fall into the ground? Oh baby, fall, fall, we call it 
and fall, leaves fall to the ground. Fall, fall, we call it fall, leaves fall to the ground. Fall, fall, we call it fall, see them spinning round. Can you be a leaf like me and fall into the ground? job oh, thank you for jamming with me isn't that a great song i put that one in the playlist too yeah it's from a really great musician who lives in seattle and you know what i bet you're gonna love his music it's really good his name is brian vogan and i checked him out and he's got so many great songs go check him out okay so that's our fall song so we also get to do something else at this time of year is pick all the things from the garden right? We call it harvest. Yes. And when we go out into the garden, maybe you have an apple tree. You know what? We have two apple trees in our yard. Yes. It's a big, big co-op yard. I live in a co-op and we have to share all the things in the yard. We have a pear tree and we have two apple trees and a plum tree. I wonder what kind of trees are in your yard or maybe in the neighborhood. And you know, sometimes we grow apples in a place called an orchard. You know, it's like humongous, huge field full of trees and they all have fruit in them. <gasps> yeah, and people pick them and then they bring them to the grocery store so we can go buy it at the grocery. <sighs> really good idea that people have orchards like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes if you go to the orchard, you reach way up high in a tree. <gasps> Two red apples smiled at me. Uh, so I shook that tree as hard as I could. <gasps> Down came the apples. Mm, they're good. And we take a big bite. <clears throat> I love apples. Don't you love apples? This one's not quite red, is it? It's got a, uh, some of the other colors in it, too. It's got some yellow and green yeah these are called gala apples there's lots of different kinds of apples that you can pick at the orchard you know maybe we could do this song together you grab your teddy and get them to sit on your lap and we'll go for a horsey ride or maybe if you're a parent you can grab your little one. Oh, octopi watch out here we go come on teddy wow you look so amazing as a clown honk 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 <laughs> I love it. Okay, should we try? We go clip, clop, clip, clop. We're going for a ride. We sing away up high in a tree. Two red apples. Sometimes we call our cheeks our apples. Smiled at me. Oh, so I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came the apples. Mm. They're good. Should we eat them up? I'm gonna eat up Teddy. Oh, nom 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 nom. <laughs> oh, I got your your tie your tie all crooked. There we go. What a nice tie you have. Hmm. Okay, one more time. Clip clop clip clop. We're going before we ride. We sing away up high in a tree. Two red apples smiled at me. So I shook that tree as hard as I could. Up, down came the apples. Mm, they're good. You want to eat you right up? Oh, just pretending to eat Teddy. He's just pretending that he's my apple. <laughs> so juicy. Oh, thank you, Teddy. Oh. You sit right back over here, okay? Yeah, good job. You just look so honk good as a clown. <laughs> oh, you know, I love playing dress up. I bet you do too. Ooh. We're going to try some more costumes on soon. But first, I think maybe we could go to the farm. Could we go to farm? Let's go to Grandpa's farm. Oh, I wonder what kind of animals Grandpa has on his farm. Hmm. Maybe... Oh. A big brown horse? What does a horse say? Oh yeah, that's good. What about a big black dog? 
What does the dog say? Ow! Oh! <laughs> what about um, oh a little white sheep? What does the sheep say? Ma, ba, ba, ba. Mhm. Mm or goat? Ma. Yeah, there's probably goats too. What else is on Grandpa's farm? Mm. Oh, how about a little red hen? Oh, what does the little red hen say? <laughs> I love that sound. And what about, oh, a big brown cow. What does she sound like? <gasps> Moo. Moo. Oh, you guys want to jam along with me? I know this song is called Grandpa's Farm and we could do it. And you know, you can dance around your house. You can jam along or you could go for a nice walk and dance around and go to Grandpa's farm. And when you hear the animal sound, you can jump and sing the sound of the animal with me. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. We're on our way. We're on our way. On our way to Grandpa's farm. call it grandpa's farm but everybody else calls him farmer dan yeah they call him farmer dan because he has the best pumpkin patch in the whole valley i know and you know what there's a really great song about it do you think we could use our hands we say open close open close open close 
Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch, the best you've ever seen. Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch, and it's ready for Halloween. Tiddly, 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 Oh, that's a lot of tiddlies, isn't it? Oh, you know what? This song would be really fun with our maracas. Do you guys have some maracas? To mara, woo! To maracas, to maracas, two for me and two for you. To maracas, to maracas, let's see what they can do. To maracas, to maracas, one for each hand. To maracas, to maracas, together we're a big band. All right, let's see if we can do it with our maracas. Open close. Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch, the best you've ever seen. Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch, and it's ready for Halloween. Tiddly, 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 You think we could do some moves? What about drumming? Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch. Oh, I make a better sound. Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch. The best you've ever seen. Tapping. Old Farmer Dan is a pumpkin patch. Ready for Halloween. Shaking up. Tiddly, 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 tiddly. Coming down. Tiddly, 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 Very good. Did you know there's more words? <gasps> yeah, let's drum. Some pumpkins, they are big and small, and some are in between. Some tall, some short, some big and round, all ready for Halloween. Tiddly, 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 Very good job. You know what? Here in the pumpkin patch, we can learn about how a pumpkin grows. This song is a call and answer song. That means I sing and then you guys copy me. Okay, can we do that? We go like this. I looked in the garden. I looked in the garden. And what did I find? What did I find? Green leaves growing, green leaves growing on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin vine. I looked in the garden, I looked in the garden. And what did I find? What did I find? Yellow flowers blooming, yellow flowers blooming on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin vine. I looked in the garden, I looked in the garden. And what did I find? Or what did I find? Busy bees buzzing, busy bees buzzing on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin vine. I looked in the garden, I looked in the garden. And what did I find? What did I find? Little pumpkins growing, little Little pumpkins growing on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin vine. I looked in the garden, I looked in the garden. And what did I find? What did I find? Oh, a great big pumpkin's growing, great big pumpkin's growing on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin vine, on the pumpkin. Vine. Oh, wow. You know what? I got to go to the pumpkin patch. Did you go to one too? You know, I have a wonderful picture I'd like to show you of the pumpkin patch a few years ago when I went. You see that? Wow. Those, that's the pumpkin patch. Yeah. All those kids, those happy kids, and they just picked their favorite pumpkin. Yeah, you know, I have a special song I'd like to sing for you, with you, about the five little pumpkins. Do you see them? We have five little pumpkins there, right? Should we count? One, two, three, four, five. Five little pumpkins. Yeah, you know, and we could sing a special song about them. 
You guys have your hand like this, and you can put it on a gate like this. Let me say. Five little pumpkins sitting on a gate. The first one said, oh my, it's getting late. The second one said, there are witches in the air. The third one said, oh, but we are not scared. The fourth one said, let's run and run and run. And the fifth pumpkin said, are you ready for some fun? And ooh, went the wind and out went the lights. <gasps> and five little pumpkins rolled off into the night. <gasps> wow, where did they go? Amazing, I love the five pumpkins. You know what, when I went to the pumpkin patch, I got a pumpkin. Oh, it's here somewhere. Pumpkin, where are you? Oh, it's so big. Wow, look at my big, humongous pumpkin. Oh, you know, I really want to make this pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern. Yeah, jack-o'-lantern means when we cut the top off and we carve out all the insides, all the seeds, and you can clean them up and even roast them. Mmm, delicious recipe is roasting them. You get them dry in the oven for a couple of minutes and then you put some soy sauce and some cumin, maybe a little bit more salt, and then you roast them again for another 20 minutes and you mix them up and you roast them again for another 20 minutes on a low temperature and you get the most delicious snack ever. Yeah, and really good to put on salad too. But I'm going to do that later with this pumpkin. But I wonder what my design should be. You know, it's a really good idea to draw your design first, maybe even on paper. And then, and I've, I've been practicing this one, so I'm going to draw it right here onto the pumpkin. I'm going to do an eye. I like that shape. That's a triangle, isn't it? I'm going to do another triangle. I've got two eyes. What about a nose? Can we do a triangle nose? That's nice. And what about a smile? We've got a big, humongous smile. And coming back. And I like my pumpkin to have one tooth. Like that. That's a pretty good design, isn't it? Yeah, you know, that's a standby good one. And, you know, you can do another kind, too. You can make different shapes and different special faces. Yeah, you know, and if you draw something on the paper first, then you can get an adult to help you put it onto your pumpkin. And you can scoop it out and then put a light in it. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? I'm just going to put a oh, jack-o'-lantern right over here, ready for Halloween carving later. Oh, we like to carve our, our pumpkins the night before Halloween. That's today. I'm going to do it later on today. But first, I really need to figure out what I'm going to be for Halloween. Well, it looks like Teddy wants to be a, uh, a clown. But, you know, there's other options. Yeah. You know, I was thinking maybe I could be a wizard. Yeah, I, I have a, I have a, a magical... Hat. Let's see what I have here. Oh, that's my wizard cape. I have a special wizard jacket. This is like, you know, very nice. Let's see if I can put that on. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty good. And I need to put this on. This is going to be a wizard hat. Mm. And then maybe I could have a magic wand. Abracadabra! I could do some magic with that. You can see my wand. It's got really nice sparkly things inside it. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. But, well, it's pretty good. What do you think? You think I should wear that? I think I may want to try on a few other costumes before I decide the wizard jacket off. Mm -hmm. Oh, how about being a private investigator? I have this really good, like, Sherlock Holmes jacket. Yeah, that's a good one. And I could wear a very nice hat. Maybe Teddy. Would you like to be an investigator with me? Yeah? I'll take that off. You could wear 
fancy hat too. And we could match. Hmm. Hmm. What kind of mystery shall we solve today? Hmm. Well, that's pretty good. But maybe we want to be something else. Let's see. Let's try something else. Let me try something else. What about, ooh, what about uh, a superhero? We'd be superheroes? Oh, I like being a superhero. Let's see. I can get a superhero costume. Oh, what do I have here? Oh, I have a great superhero mask. Yes. Let's see. Put that on. Uh-oh. To go like this. Whoa, Super Monica. It's coming together. Let's see. And then I'm going to need a cape. Oh, yeah. So I have this nice cape here I made a few years ago. Now it's got a neat design so it doesn't have to go around my um, neck in order for it to, to stay on. Yeah. You take your, your cape like this and you put a long string on it and then you can just loop your arms through the string and ta-da! We have a cape. Whoosh. I can fly in my cape. And you know what? I have one for Teddy too. I think Teddy might want to be a superhero with me. Yeah? Want to be a superhero, Teddy? A nice cape for you. Looks like you're wearing a wizard jacket. Let's take that wizard jacket off. Well, maybe we'll leave it on for now. There's Teddy. Super Teddy! <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Uh, we could probably try something else. Yeah? Let's try something else. Let's see. What else do we have here? Super Teddy, let's try something else. Oh, I know. Ooh, you have such a nice cape on. He's got this nice jacket. Look, it's very sparkly, isn't it? Wow, and even has arms. Teddy, you look really good in that. I don't want to take that off yet. Yeah, that's kind of like, hmm, maybe you could put on a mask for a masquerade. A fancy masquerade for Teddy. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that sure does. Let's see here. Can you see him? There he is. Yeah. And, oh, I have a fancy mask too. Yeah, look at this one. I wonder who I am. When you put on a mask like that, you can just be anybody. Ooh, yes, this comes from Venice, this mask. Hmm. <laughs> That's a fun idea. I can do that too. Uh oh, I get all tangled in my hair. I'll take my hair down. What else could we be? Oh, you know, I think we could even add, Teddy could get a little bit more wild with this costume and put on some little ears. Oh, <laughs> Ooh. oh wait, I need to put on a fancy necklace for my masquerade. Yeah, that will make it more fancy, I think. Yes. Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, what else can we have? So many choices. Let's see. How about, oh, oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I could be a pirate. I love to be a pirate out on the high seas looking for some loot down there in the holds of all the ships. Oh, I love to be a pirate. Oh, I need a few more things to be a pirate, though. I think maybe I need a vest. Yeah, let's try on the vest. Get my vest on. Oh, yeah, that's much better. And then maybe I need, oh, a sword. Arr, for opening up the chest. Arr. Oh, Teddy, Teddy wants to be a pirate too? Okay. Okay, let's take this off. You could be a pirate. There's a hat for you. 
give a pirate hat for you, Teddy. Oh, look at that. I am a handsome pirate. And maybe even some pirates have an eye patch. Can I give you an eye patch? Oh, I have to put that on first. Oh, I pirate Teddy. Gotta get that on. There we go. Ooh, looking good, looking good. This has got a high contender. Arr, a pirate. Ooh, out on the high seas. <laughs> I bet I'd get lots of candy trick-or-treating like this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, and we also have this even. We have a pirate flag. There's a happy guy with his little dress for you. There we go. That's pretty good. Oh, where's my sword? Uh, 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 uh. Okie dokie. Well, let's see. Hmm. What do you guys think? What's your favorite costume so far? I'm not sure what I should wear. Let's see. Hmm. Um, I'm going to try one more thing. Let's see. One more thing. What about... What about if I was a witch? You know, lots of times people are witches for Halloween and I have this... <laughs> Perfect witch hat. Yeah, pretty good. I can be a witch. And you know, I even have a spider web. <laughs> oh, little witchy. Oh, no, I have my magic wand. Ching, ching. Oh, that would be fun. I could be a witch. Yeah, and Pi Teddy could be the pirate. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Well, I don't know. I think my favorite costume of all of my costumes has to be meow, a kitty cat. I love being the kitty cat. And I can put on my fur. Lots of kitty cat fur here. They stay nice and warm. <sighs> oh, there we go. <gasps> meow, meow. Oh, look at this. Haley says she thinks that I should be a superhero. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. I think I could be a superhero. Yeah, I agree. But I do like my kitty cat one. Meow. Meow. <laughs> Okie dokie. Superhero it is. I think I'll be a superhero. Good idea, Haley. All right. Whew. There's a lot of dressing up going on around here. Well, I'm going to put my superhero costume back on so that we can go out super. Woohoo! All right. Oh, now, and Sydney thinks that Kitty, uh oh. You know, there's a lot of choices there. The sisters are disagreeing, and you know, we're allowed to disagree. What if I was a super kitty? I could be a super kitty. Oh my goodness, I've never put those things together. Oh, my ears are crooked. Whoa. You got to get your ears on right if you're a kitty, a super kitty. There we go. <laughs> and super kitty has a cape, right? Yeah. Get my cape back on. Super kitty. All right. Oh, 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 let's see here. <laughs> Krisha says pirate. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Well, let's see. So Haley is dressed as a superhero right now, too. Wow, she's outlet from the P and from PJ Mask. Wow, super good. Everybody has all their costumes at home. <gasps> you know, you could send me a picture of your costume. I would love to see it. You could even post it on the Facebook page. <gasps> Krisha says pirate. Mm, I'm like pretty pretty partial to the pirate myself. <laughs> okay, so, well, I think, you know, it's just about time to go. Whew. Well, let's see, what are we talking about? I'm forgetting to do something. Hmm. Oh, what am I forgetting to do? There's something. Um, something to do with the letter B, the B sound, and the letter B. 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 Something that goes pop? 
Oh yeah, it's something that goes pop. You're right. Oh my goodness. I think I know what it is. I think I know what it is. It's right, it's the bubbles. We gotta do the bubbles. Okay, let's put on the special song. It's working. Great, okay. Quick, get the bubbles, get the bubbles. for coming to the get together today and singing and dancing with me you know i think i need to take off my mask oh i can see you better yes i do and i'm gonna put my pirate hat on just for you and maybe let's see if we can say goodbye to everybody <laughs> let's catch the train <laughs> well the goodbye train is coming see you soon <laughs> the goodbye train is coming see you soon <laughs> The goodbye train is coming, the goodbye train is coming, yes, the goodbye train is coming, see you soon. <laughs> we'll all say bye to Krisha, and we'll all say bye to Pirate Teddy, and we'll all say bye to the Bear family, and Superman too. <laughs> oh, Spider-Man too. <laughs> and the sleepy polar bears too. <laughs> and the little birds too. <laughs> Oh, they say Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween, everybody! I hope you have a wonderful weekend making your own jack-o'-lantern and getting dressed up and honoring the passing of the seasons, the turning over of the season we call fall. Sending you lots of love. Mwah! Big heart. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Psh. Get jump.